So if you're like me and you're constantly running out of space in your Steam Deck and you want to upgrade to a bigger drive, then keep watching. When I first bought the Steam Deck, I wasn't sure if it was going to be something I would take to or use a lot. I just decided to opt for the base model, which came with 64GB of storage. Which at the time I thought would have been okay, but as time went on I started using it more. I found myself having to constantly delete games to make space for others and it became a bit of a pain so I've had, I have had my head for a wee while of updating the hard drive on it so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go from 64 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes which is quite four times the space so hopefully that'll be a lot better for me. I won't have to keep deleting games all the time. So what we need to do the job is the Steam Deck itself. A toolkit for opening the Steam Deck, a USB stick, and a larger M.2 drive. This time I went for a 256GB model. They really are tiny, these little drives. With hard drives and storage media, I always prefer to go for a well known name rather than unbranded stuff. On this occasion, I went for an integral one. I think they're around £35 for the 256 which is not too bad. We also need access to a PC to prepare the USB stick. If you don't have a, a USB-C USB stick and you have a dock you can use a dock or or an adapter to convert it into USB-C. Sometimes it's just all about using what you've got lying around and utilising that to do the job. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to our kind sponsors, PCBWay. Thanks to the awesome PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay are a one-stop shop for everything electronics. They have amazing deals such as $5 for 10 pieces with a super fast turnaround of 24 hours. They do everything from boards, 3D printing, CNC machining. They even offer assembly service if required. One of my favourite sections is the shared projects bit. You just never know what cool stuff you will find in here. And don't forget there's a generous $5 bonus for new signups. You can find the link in the description below. So what we'll do now is we'll head off to the PC and prepare the USB stick. So now we're over at the PC we need to download a program called Rufus. This is a, this is a program that will help us put the image onto the USB stick and the image itself which you'll find from the Steam download page. So just tick the box of the user agreement and download the image. And then we should have the image and Rufus ready to go. So we have the USB stick shown. And then we want to select the image. And once we've done that, just press start. OK, and just let it run its course now. OK, now this process is complete, we'll head off to the workbench and fit the drive. So let's make sure we're powered down and we'll disassemble it. So we'll remove the eight screws holding the case together. So now we've we'll removed the screws, we'll take the cover off. What I'm doing is just prising it gently with an opening tool. I wouldn't take a screwdriver or anything to it, otherwise the plastic's quite soft and you'll probably end up damaging it. The rear cover actually clicks off with ease, you don't really need to force it in, it just comes off nicely. So where we're looking to access is in this part here. Remove the two screws holding the, the shield on. So 
so yeah there's another screw underneath the the bit of silver tape Now that lifts off rather easy. The part we're replacing is located here. There's a single screw holding it in, but before we go ahead and remove this, what we'll do is we'll disconnect the battery just to make sure there's no power going to. So what we'll do now is remove the drive. So what I'll do now is remove the heat shield from the old drive and put that in the new drive before we fit it. So we removed the, the heat shield from the old drive and now we've placed it on the new one. And now we'll fit the new drive. Just be aware not to over tighten the screws when you put them in. I just put them in until they're just hand tight the very first time, I don't need to over tighten them. The good thing about the steam deck is it's all modular inside so should anything go wrong like a micro switch or anything it should be all easy to replace which is good. So let's not forget to reconnect the battery. It's just a case of sliding that back in. So I just push the ends down with the little prying tool, just makes it make sure it's nice and secure. Almost forgot to put the shielding back on there, so before we put the case, let's go and put the shielding on. So now the heat shield's back in place, we'll go and put the rear cover back onto it. All just clicks into place very nicely. So what I've noticed now, the larger screws we've taken out are for the outside screws and the four smaller ones for the inside. So let's go ahead and put them back. So now, now all the screws are accounted for and put in their correct place, we'll install the OS onto the, the fresh drive. So now we're ready to install the image onto the Steam Deck. So what I've done to allow myself to use normal USB sticks is connected it to my docking station, which has a couple of ports on it, so what we'll do now is plug that in. So we want to access the boot manager on the Steam Deck. To do so, we hold in the minus volume button and the power button. So we choose to boot from the USB device. So once it boots into the SteamOS, what we want to do is re-image the Steam Deck. So select that option and then proceed. So what we'll do is we'll just let that run its course. So now that re-image is complete, we'll go to proceed. So that's just now signed in. Let's go and check the storage on it just to make sure everything's okay. Two hundred and twenty-two gigabytes of free storage. It really is quite a big difference from having just over forty gigabytes free. So I'm looking forward to installing some of the larger size games that I couldn't before.